your girl Amber and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been some time since I've done a stuffing uh, video, but you guys, it's been hectic over here. She just had a baby, okay? She's six, what's, six weeks old and it's just been a little hectic, just trying to find my rhythm, trying to get my bearings together. Um, but that doesn't mean that I was not stuffing along the way. I just figured September's a brand new month, even though I'm a couple days late with posting this. Um, this is my first paycheck in September. And just a little note, I am on maternity leave. And as you know, living in this country, land of the free, home of the brave, um, I only get a percentage of my income with short-term disability. So this will be a smaller stuffing, but a stuffing nonetheless. So if you guys are down for that, let's get right to it. Um, yes, I bank at Chase. I found this really neat when I went to the bank today. They were like, do you do this cash stuffing often? And I was like, absolutely. <laughs> she was like, let me give you a cute little envelope. So um, first things first, pulling out my denominations, you guys. I pulled out $715 um, to stuff this pay period, which um, it's just a little bit less than what I normally stuff. I stuff roughly between like $850 to $950 a month. Um, but like I mentioned, I'm on maternity leave, so this is just what short-term disability, you know, permits. So I'm going to grab my cash out. And I don't know if you notice, this has any little tray over here. I've been dying to, like, film something, but my time is not my own. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and break this down so that I can put it in the necessary slots, and then we can get to stuffing. All right, first things first is to go into our Filoflex purse and see what we have left over uh, from the previous pay period. I keep all my receipts so that I can scan them into Fetch. Where are my receipts? I don't know where they are. But, um, or maybe I've already scanned them in. But if you guys are interested, I'll make sure to leave my link below um, so that you guys can start benefiting from a lot of rewards that come along with scanning in your receipts. And this is receipts from all over. I've even scanned in receipts from like my local pizza sub shop, still getting points. So for gas, it looks like I have $10 left. For spending, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars there for ambra i have five ten fifteen so we're definitely going to put these in our challenges and nothing for beauty because sis got a pedicure just the other day so with that said actually no i'm going to keep it open because now we can go ahead and start stuffing um for the next week so all this extra money i'll show you what i'll do with at the end whether I go to miscellaneous or any of my challenges so for gas i always put sixty dollars even though sometimes I really don't use all of it because I not only will be working remote, but I, re I hardly ever go anywhere with the baby just because it's just too much work. Um, <laughs> spending, I do a hundred. One, two, three, four, five. And I know some people segment this out, but spending really falls down to anything from like a Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, the kids' haircuts, um, diapers, which I haven't really needed to purchase quite yet because I still have quite a bit from the baby shower but this is like anything it just all falls under the same amber i'm not gonna put anything there because i think i'm good and beauty i'm gonna do 50 right yeah because i just i don't know pedicure no i probably don't need another pedicure this month well yeah i do a pedicure every three weeks so i don't know if it's gonna be a pedicure i don't know if it's gonna be my nails i don't know if it's gonna go towards if i decide to take my braids out who knows so let's grab our first sinking funds binder. One thing that I'm not going to do, and I've started to, um, it, it's more for me than anyone else, but I don't want to count the total um, until the end of the month, just because I get excited about how much I've saved rather than like week to week to week. But I will go in after and um, I record to put in the, the value. But Reese gets $45. Put that like this. If you guys are up to date, my baby moved to Seattle for his senior year of high school. Um, I've adjusted better. First couple weeks were rough. 
sis was crying every five seconds. <laughs> but, you know, it's a senior year. So this is like for prom, ring dance, things that he'll need support with um, at the end of the school year. Pierce. Uh, start school tomorrow, you guys. My fifth grader. Can you even... I don't know if you guys have been rocking with me that long. But I joined YouTube when Pierce was three. Um, and now he's going into fifth grade. So, like, not happy. Our girl Bo is getting 20. She really doesn't have anything necessarily that I'm saving for other than just to have it readily available if something comes up. Bay. We're putting in 40. This is, you know, when I take him out on dates or just something to make him feel warm and fuzzy inside. Uh, for vacation, another 40. So make sure. Uh, family time, we're gonna do 25. Oh, I didn't do that right. Nails. I know you guys are like, wow, Amber, look at these nails. Yeah. She's a basic Betty because she has a newborn and I can't scratch my baby. I do miss my claws, but it's for the greater good. We're doing 15 for clothing. I really don't know how I wanna cap off clothing just because right now the kids don't need anything and I technically don't need anything. Plus I'm in this transitional phase, you know, being a new mom, I'm not buying clothes and I haven't lost my baby weight yet. And you feel me? <laughs> Second binder. I am not stuffing handbags. What am I doing? What, what's happening here? <laughs> I'm not stuffing handbags. I don't have a desire for that right now for my birthday 40 bucks it's so fun because i've been um working with someone to help me plan out my trip um your girl wants to go to maldives and the only way that's gonna work is you plan ahead of time i'll be 40 in 2022 and i really am playing no games about it <laughs> sneakers we're skipping plus i tried to get some jordans this week and of course the nike app Miscellaneous, we'll come back to this at the end to see if there's some extra. For savings challenge, what are we doing? For 26, the 26 week one, uh, we're gonna put 50. For, oh wait, did I do that right? Yeah, yeah, 26, <laughs> the 26 savings, this is for the $5, $5 bill. So I believe we have four, uh, we have 60 for the $5 challenge. But remember, we have some extra fives that were left over from the previous week. So I'm going to take 50 and a 10, right? And then we're going to add the extra fives to this challenge. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tripping, you guys. Sorry. I feel so rusty, but I also feel like relatable. <laughs> Um, emergency fund, I do electronically, so I'll just update this. I put $50 every pay into that goal, and the goal there is to make sure that we get up to $1,500 just for emergency purposes. For savings, I do $100. So right now, it looks like since my last paycheck, I'm up to $750, so we're going to add another $100. Bucks. Um, my goal there is just, it's really endless, even though I want to be able to reach like $1,000 and just have it sitting there for, you know, something comes up beauty we already put some money in our personal bag so i'll be pulling from this to make sure i hit that number if i decide to do something with hair investments i put all my ones in so i'm gonna go ahead and put my ones there even though this is getting real tickums nothing for bills um nothing for utilities we'll get there I think I'll start saving for utilities once we really get into the nitty gritty of like the home buying process. Still paying off some debts, still getting some things um, and building up in that capacity. So car maintenance, we're going to do 25. And I'm so blessed because my man who is so diligent, it's so patient with me, <laughs> you guys. Um, I'm terrible at getting old changes. I'm terrible of like 
you know, he tells me, Amber, you've got to put gas in your tank when it hits a half a tank. <sighs> I'm a work in progress. So I didn't do 80 this pay, I did 25. Um, so he actually went and got my car detailed. He went and got the oil changed, tire rotated. So I didn't have to come out of pocket. But, you know, those funds just get, you know, shifted over to, you know, the bay bag because I'll take care of him on back end. <laughs> then we have snowball debt. This is something that I'm going to be adding at the end of the month to knock off some of the, you know, discrepancies or derogatory items in my credit report for the home buying process. Health, I'm going to do 25 Two tens and a five. Oh. Um, and this is for anything. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. There's a part of me that wants to get cosmetic surgery. And we'll talk about that later. But I also was blessed with genetics <laughs> that are going to... I'm going to give myself a year. And listen, I don't see anything wrong with cosmetic surgery as long as you do it in moderation and you do it with like in the realm of like realism i'm not trying to look like an instagram model in any capacity it's definitely not my aesthetic but um, i have areas that i'm not happy with just like any other woman and i'm considering that expense if i want to go ahead and dabble in it um christmas do i have anything for christmas yep 30 for christmas and you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna swap this bill out 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Hallelujah. And this is obviously for everyone, the kids, whomever. Um, just in preparation. I think I want to start Christmas shopping at the end, mid, mid to end of October. I need to put my list together and see exactly what that's looking like. But, you know, back to school. I'm going to hold off on. School starts tomorrow. Um, I'm probably going to be utilizing some of these funds today, but he, Pierce pretty much has everything that he needs. And I took care of Reese before he left to Seattle. Gifts. Do I have anything going into gifts? I don't have anything going into gifts. I don't have any birthdays in September that I need to think about. Yeah, none. Um, nothing for pet. Do I have anything for home? I do. 15. Look at me. 15 for home. You know, I just get excited when things work out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So then we have this leftover money here. And I think I'm going to put it in my miscellaneous. Because you just never know, Chad. You never know. Pull it up. Anything can pop up. That's what you have it there for. Boom. Quite a bit of fives. It's almost like I have a separate five dollar challenge, <laughs> and you never know. Towards the end of the year, I may add it to the big pot. So there you have it, my first paycheck of September. Sorry, you guys, that I'm a little late. Thank you so much for understanding the transitions that are happening in my life right now. If you have any questions, make sure that you comment below. Um, what I need to do better is linking all the resources that I'm using for my cash envelope stuffing journey um, i hope that you guys will set your goals for september um, even if you're if those out there who are in the same situation as me where income has been chopped up a little bit but i'll be back in full income by october because my maternity leave is over in, my, in october which it's like bittersweet um but i work from home so i still get to be home with Bo every single day um and still get to put pierce on the bus so um i'm really blessed in that way but yeah until the next video shine bright bye